Well then, I don't think you guys ever see me on this screen. Well, welcome guys to another, well this is a really big tutorial. So, I've done a video on imp heads around two times already. And I've been bypassing one important thing about the plugin. Creating the imp heads. Imp head is a really cool plugin. If you guys haven't checked it out, there are two links to it down below. There are two videos on it. So make sure to check them out. They're going to teach you all the commands. And right here, I'm going to teach you guys how to make your very own imp head. Quick disclaimer, this is everything I know and everything I learned in the past days I've been trying to learn about this plugin. I learned it. I hope I teach you guys at least the basics of what you need to start. As soon as you get the basics, you can really start to create amazing things. I really like it. So yeah, let's get started. So things you're going to need to know. You're going to have to have impeds. You're going to have to have a, a few sites. I'm going to keep everything in the description down below. So a few websites. I'm going to keep it to help you guys out on this. And of course, you're going to need this file right here. So I'm going to just keep away from Minecraft for a while because we're just going to go on what we need. So go in the description below, download this file. If you guys are having any problems opening up your .impet folder, of course, you have to just right click it, open with, and then use Renoir Archive. If you guys don't know Renoir, really, you've been living under a rock. But still, I'll leave a link down below if you guys want to check it out. So yeah. Uh, of course, if it doesn't still show up, what you can do is just open with, choose another app, and then just go all the way down and just go to more apps. Scroll all the way down, go for look in this PC, and it should be the last option right here, WinRAR. And just click this file right here and click open. It should open as WinRAR. And as soon as you got it, you're going to go into the second link and you're going to go to this page right here. Now, this page, it is necessary and it isn't. It really depends on you. I actually find it really cool and, and very helpful for creating your own impeds. It basically, you can create it and disclaimer, every imped is a block or a head or anything like that, an item. It is an item on top of an armor stand. So that's you guys, you guys got to know that. All right. So as soon as you got all of those two things down, the plugin, the item, the WinRAR file that I, that's in the description and then this website, you're going to choose what animal you want to make. Now in my head, I want to make an owl, those white owls with the black wings. I want to make one of those and, and I want its, its head to rotate every time it walks. Sounds simple enough, right? That's what we're going to see. So first thing we want to do is we're going to create it right here. We're going to put an armor stand. All right. So we're going to add our armor stand right here here okay so we have an armor stand right here so what we're gonna do is we're gonna click on the head and we're just gonna go into armor stand options and right where it says item id this is where you're gonna put the item id so for example you can put a head or anything similar to that okay so after you click armor stand options right here you can add as much things as you want so what i'm gonna do i'm right here in the head slot this is where we're gonna add each one of our blocks so each armor stand is a certain block and what we're gonna do is just gonna add for example, just uh, we're just gonna add a stone block, and we want to keep it invisible. So I'm gonna click Enter, and I'm gonna close this down. There we go. We just have a bla basic stone block. Now I'm going to say I'm adding a stone block because this is gonna be its head, but I know uh, the head is basically just gonna be a skull with a form of an owl. Knowing that, I know the stone's gonna be the head. You guys need to know which one's gonna be your head as well. Now, I want the, I want it to be a head, a body, and some wings, some black wings. I wanna put it, and it's gonna be a white owl. All right, so we got that in mind. This is the head. What we're gonna do now is gonna add a body under it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add another armor stand. Okay, so this right here is our second armor stand. This is gonna be its body. So I'm gonna do, I'm gonna add an armor stand options again, and this time I'm gonna add a different block. It doesn't really matter which block. This is just to help you identify the localization well, or positioning of each block and I'm gonna keep it invisible as well and the item ID I'm just gonna keep it its body is just gonna be a white wool so I'm gonna click this I'm gonna position it a bit more connecting to the head all right so we got that done and now all I want to do is add some wings the wings are gonna be just some basic black wool blocks almost in the body well a good percentage of it's gonna be inside the body and just a small percent is gonna be outside to identify a bit of depth and have some wings so I'm gonna do I'm at a different armor stand again all right I'm gonna click on the head i'm gonna go to armor stand options and i'm just gonna add wool 15 so this is gonna be just gonna be some black wool i'm gonna keep it invisible and i actually want it to be small we can actually do this inside a plugin every feature that we're doing here is gonna happen inside a plugin so that's really cool i'm gonna close this down and i want a copy of it so i'm gonna click duplicate and that should give me an exact replica of this armor stand right here and now we have it all right so now we have it i'm just gonna drag it a bit in i'm gonna go zoom in a tiny bit and i'm just gonna drag it up just so it's inside but not all the way and then we're gonna do the same thing to over here we're just gonna it's basically just gonna be the same concept but on the other side so that's gonna pretty much be the wing i want it to be all curled up into like one ball like you usually see a you usually see an owl on a tree all nice majestic like so i'm just gonna do the same thing as I usually see one. There we go. Just drag it a bit in as well. This and just drag it a bit in. Just leaving a tad bit out. There we go. So we basically have the, the idea for the owl right here. 
This is going to be its head, its small body, and some wings on the side. And I want the head to rotate. So everything we're doing here, we can do it in the plugins. Now I could make this fly, but it would be a bit more, it would be a longer video. And everything I'm going to teach you guys here is going to basically, is going to be the principles to making your own impact. And you can make it fly if you want to, but this is just the basics so everybody can learn. So we now have the, the positionings the, right here. And this is going to help us quite a bit when making our impact. The, posi the position is right here in dropping object 1. And we have object 2. Well, 8. Wow, this is quite a lot. And right there, you can get your positioning for each one of them. I have my positioning all settled up. And the next thing we're going to do, you can keep the page open. And you want to go to the next link, which is head.freshcoal.com. And you're going to search your own head, well, the head you want to create for your impact. You can also make it out of blocks if you're really detailed and you want to add some special smash special items to it or anything like that. But uh, for this owl, I just want a simple owl head, a white owl head. Let's see if we can actually find one right here. So we have an owl head. I'm just going to copy this entire link. It's a give command. So you want to copy that and then you want to go to the second link or well, the third link to be honest. And it's going to go to a head decoder. This is basically just going to make it into a URL. You want to go ahead and control V that and submit now keep this page open we're gonna need it in a bit just keep it open now one thing that probably will help you guys out a lot is minecraft id list this basically here helps you get every single block say for example i wanted to know the id for a diamond right here it'll say basically for anything that's related to diamond so if i want to add an item to an impet for example just an example a diamond pickaxe i can get right here diamond underscore pickaxe that's gonna help out a lot when creating your impet as well so we got that in mind now we're gonna go back to the file of course i recommend you guys keeping your server in the local host and your minecraft open with also the impets folder open as well if you got that all right let's do this first thing i'm gonna do i'm just gonna drag everything out i'm gonna open it up i'm gonna drag everything out here because i wanted to edit it all real time so i got that we're gonna go to the first file this basically the description the name file is basically the description, so I'm going to click it, I'm going to go to edit with Notepass++. I recommend you guys get Notepass++ because it's going to help you out a ton, and I mean a ton when it comes to editing. Alright, so this is going to be the name. This is the description for the item the item that's going to pop up GUI inside the plugin, and of course, the name and the description that's going to be basically the lore under the head item. So I want its name to be Owl, and the description I wanted to say who, who, who. This is a permission. You can add a permission for each individual impet. So I just gotta put, for example, put owl. So this gets the permission if certain people can't use it or not. And you just gotta put impets dot owl. You can just basically put the name that you put in your for your Im own impet as well. So let's say you put, I don't know, you decide to make a car. You just put dot car or any name you really want to, to be honest. And this is a symbol. This is basically the item that's gonna pop up in GUI. So I'm just gonna go for the head because that's what I want it to be. We're going to get that in a bit. You're going to figure out what head means. So stay tuned. And animation, frame delay, and quality. Just keep that normal. You want to control S and save that. Control S and save that. Close it down. And we're going to go back to this file right here. We want to go ahead and rename that to your animal name. So I'm going to put owl. Okay, we got that. I'm going to keep this on a corner. And I'm going to go to items. Now items, this is basically each item that you're going to be using to create your own impet. So for this one, I'm going to be using a skull, a diorite block, and some black wool. That's everything I'm gonna need to make a white owl. It's not gonna be 100% white because I never seen a 100% white owl. It's gonna be more of like gray and white and a bit black here and there. So it's gonna be that kind of spotted owl. That's what I wanna make and let's do it. Okay, so we're gonna start out making the items. So what I'm gonna do is first I want the head. So I'm gonna type in head colon. You wanna click enter and then space and type in material. You want to click colon again, and then this is what the material you're going to use it for. So this is going to be a, the head, which is basically going to be a skull. So I'm going to put in all in caps, skull, underscore, item. All right, we got that. And under it, this is where the link that I was telling you guys not to remove. Right here, we're going to copy that link. And we're going to add the next following, skull, URL in capitals and then colon and then we're gonna put in the URL that we got it from so right here so right here skull URL we got that done cool now I'm gonna click enter again and this is gonna be its data so there are many types of skull inside of Minecraft but this is the data for the player skull which you can change from different heads if it's a zombie skull or a skeleton skull it won't work so we need data colon and then a three that's basically gonna give us the head players the player's head 
we're gonna click enter again and we're gonna click backspace and this is gonna be its body so the the direct body basically the wool and the armor stand generator that's gonna be its body so I'm gonna put in body colon and I'm gonna click enter material again and I want to make sure it's spaced so there we go add colon again and we're gonna give it some material so for this one it's gonna be stone and we're gonna click enter again we don't need a skull URL because this one isn't a skull so you gotta remember that and I'm just gonna add its data so this one is a a3 so there we go this one also is a 3 because the write is basically from stone with the data of 3 and we're gonna click enter and now this is its wings you can basically now you don't have to do it exactly as I'm doing here is head here is body this is just to help when putting everything in together we're just naming it to make it more simpler to find each one and which body part we need to create which thing now you can use each body part more than once in the construction of your impet which I am going to do with wing. So I'm going to click enter, I'm going to add colon, and it's going to be the wing. So we're going to click enter again, material, colon, and I want to make sure it is backspaced first. And this material is basically going to be wool, all in caps, and its data is going to be 15, because that's the color for black wool. And, and now, that's everything I need for my impet. That's everything we're going to need to make an owl. Pretty simple, right? cool now other things you can add let's say if you're using for the wing a different item instead of wool like a chest piece I don't know what we use it for but let's say you were using it and you put let's go for example let's copy this click enter again let's backspace and control V and rename this chest plate there we go and what I'm gonna add chest plate I'm gonna add leather underscore chest plate now this is only an example I don't know if it's correct it's spelled like that this is an example, right? So let's say you wanted to add a color to that chest plate. And to be honest, there are a lot of colors. And if you just go in Minecraft right here, if you go to the basic one, it won't tell you its color. Basically, you have the color as well. So let's say you do color with, I don't know, cyan and add some red and add some green. It will pop up with a ton of numbers. And you can't just go, I want a black one. So I just go underscore and add. And I just add. And then I just add a data 15. That won't give you a black one. In the chess piece or anything else that's due with colors that has more intense colors than normally than a regular wool, you're going to have to add its color, literally its color. We're, so we don't really need data for this. This is an example, right? What we're going to do is actually add color. And then you add colon, and then you can actually add the color you want. So if you want an ex a exact color, for I don't know a lighter cyan and then you just add the number there you go that would help you that's an example and any and something else really cool you can also add is I'm just gonna go enter again owner and then colon percent uh, and then in parentheses and that's pretty cool another thing I really recommend another thing I can suggest for you guys is of course to read the wiki the wiki contains even more things you can add I'm just showing you guys what you need to know and some extra features here and there so let's do this all right, we got the items done. I'm not going to be using this chest piece. This is just an example, like I said. Control S it like that. I can close this down, and I can keep this items right here in the corner. Now we only have two more files to look at, which is a structure and animation. Animation is due with FPS. FPS is frame per second. I will get to that in a bit. But what we can do is just keep it up here, and we can go to the structures. Now we're going to open up structures. This is where you start to make your impact. This is where the magic begins in structures. Now we have one file. What we're gonna do? What we're gonna do is we're gonna go to body part. And we're, now since we have two wings, a body and a head, we're gonna need a total of four body parts. What we can do is just control and just drag this down until we have four body parts, and we just rename them. So this one's gonna be the head, body, left wing, and the right wing. Okay, we got all of its body parts all settled. What we're gonna do is start from the head. Okay, for the head, what we're gonna do is we're gonna add the following words, helmet, colon, and click enter, and then add location. This is the location where it's gonna be add, and then add colon again, enter in a space, and add the word height, colon, enter, and then add left, right, colon, enter, and then add back, forward, colon, and then enter. You can even add this head, pause and then colon and in print in parentheses double parentheses of course just add brackets and zero 
comma zero comma zero like that so i'm going to show you guys what this means right now helmet is basically the i this is where it's going to start really helmet is basically the item that's going to be for the head of the armor stand so right here it's going to be just a plain head all right so this is going to be the head and now this is where the location this is the height this is right left right and this is back and forward so the best way to put, think about this is looking at a armor stand right in front of you and just looking left and right where it's gonna go and back and forwards in front of you so it's kind of complex to understand at first but as soon as you get it it's really quite simple now we're gonna go into height and I just want a basic height of no let's just go for an example let's not let's go for one that's pretty high to be honest but it's just an example we're gonna figure out where it is in a slight second and what we're gonna do left and right zero I don't want it to go near left or right I want it to be in the center and back and forward zero as well because I want to stay in the exact same position now we got that we can go ahead and control s we're gonna copy that and rename this to your pet name so owl and I'm just gonna open this up and we're gonna go and what we're gonna do is basically delete everything you don't have to worry about animation frame yet just keep that in file in there and we're gonna get structure items and the name you renamed to your m pet and just drag it in click ok and we're going to drag this file right here into our m pets folder just drag it in and what we're going to do now is going to do slash m pet reload slash m pet reload and then m pet open and a tur or an eternal error occurred that means we definitely did something wrong so i'm going to go back and double check everything okay so basically what i did wrong is i forgot to right here in items i forgot to keep all these capitalized make sure you do that sorry that's really my bad and i messed up big time next thing right here is head pause you want to keep that hey pause don't know why just keep it just keep it like that this is just positioning as well and we're gonna get to, to that soon so we just keep that all right and we're just gonna go and click our owl he's right there he's looking all majestic where is he there you go he's looking all majestic like not really because he's missing quite a few features which a body is one of them now, I'm in a void world with barrier blocks literally everywhere, which I, it's not loading for some reason. But either way, so, so the reason I'm in a void world with barrier blocks is because I can see if any parts are in the wrong positioning or not. And this is going to help me out a lot. So for one thing, he's quite high. I want him lower. So I'm going to go back to the file. I'm going to go to this position right here. So I want him about low enough so we can add a body to him and he can look like he's walking around. Oh, cute and like so I'm gonna go for a minus 0 0.9 0 0.9 and I'm gonna control s and we're gonna figure out where that is so I'm just gonna go into structure I'm gonna open that file up I'm gonna do the same for here I'm gonna go into structure and head I'm gonna just drag this head in click OK and I'm gonna open my impet impet open I'm gonna remove it and then impet reload and I'm gonna open up again right here now where is he so as you can see oh my perfect that there we go he's actually low enough now the question is is he low enough to have a body yes because when you put an armor stand it actually gets a bit smaller not small small but it's smaller than a regular block so don't worry about that and what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go back right here we're gonna go to the body now we're gonna add its body this is really cool this is starting to get fun we're gonna do it again we're gonna add helmet but okay we can either retype everything or we can go back to the head copy and paste it that's gonna save you a ton of time so from head you remove it and type in body or whatever body part specifically you named it and i'm just gonna remove this zero well 1.9 to just a zero now we're gonna now we're gonna figure out where we want it so so for now i'm just gonna keep it like that i don't know exactly where the position is gonna be and we're gonna figure it out together so i'm just gonna open up structure and i'm just drag this in here click ok go into minecraft re re open up my impet remove it and then reload it you don't really have to do the way i'm falling you can just reload it and remove and open up your impet but i just like the way i do it right so we reload it and i'm gonna open it up again i'm gonna click my impet and let's figure out as you can see right there yeah that's not the correct position that head is way up there and i actually want it under him so we're just gonna position it under him so right here it was a minus 109 minus 0.9 and I'm gonna put minus 0.1 let's see if that works if it doesn't we can retry that's what I actually like we have real time right here so we can mess with this as much as we want if we get any errors you can just redo it I'm gonna click again I'm gonna reload open as you can see right there it doesn't really matter you just have to open up your impact qu quite twice like that and yes moved quite a bit but not significantly a lot 
So what I'm trying here, I'm just going to add a basic minus one. Um, to be honest, that's actually what I wanted. I actually wanted the head, well, the body to be that low enough. So as you can see right there, it is similarly low enough. And the head is actually in the wrong position. The head was actually way too low. So yeah, that's an error we actually made. Well, I made. And what we're going to do is go back to the head. And I'm just going to put it higher. So for example, let's just add a zero. Let's just add zero. And you can save that. And we're just going to drag it in, see if a zero actually helped. I'm just going to drag the head in, click OK, reload the plugin, open up, and then remove it, and then open up again, and where is it? Yes, see? Yeah, no, that that's way too high. Maybe a 0 0.9, would that work? Oh, there we go, we have it. So I just put in a 0 0.5, which was, well, enough, so we can actually have it above it, the block. So that looks great so far. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to add its wings. Now the rotation of the head comes later in the animation part, in the animation part but so far we are doing quite good with progress. So I'm going to go into left wing. We're going to start with the left wing. Now remembering I'm looking towards him so this right here is my right and, and this wool block right here is my left. So if I'm looking front for him, left is my right and right is my left. Quite simple, that's really first grade stuff but either way, some people get messed up with that, right? And I'm just going to add his left wing, which is this one right here. Again, I'm just going to copy so we can do this process a lot faster. I'm going to copy this and then control V on the left wing. And I'm going to rename this body part to wing. Now, I don't rename it to left wing. I remember to wing because that is the struct. That is the item that we put it to. We named it to item. Renamed that item to wing. So I'm just put wing. And now we just select this positioning. I don't know. Let's go. I wanted the height to be a 0.1 to be a bit lower from the head and I want it to be left and right now this is where it gets interesting left and right I want it to be in but at the same time out of the body I want a big chunk of it to be inside the body and a small chunk so we can give that nice bit of depth to the owl and make it look like it has wings so I'm gonna put 0.4 here control save that and I'm just gonna drag this bad boy in. Click OK. I'm gonna open. I'm gonna reload. Open up. Remove and open up. Well, open up again, not reload. And I'm just gonna click this. And yeah, we have a problem, don't we? It's too big, and it's not in the right position. What we can do is, well, we just go back to the file, and right here, we can. We're, gonna, we're actually gonna remove this, and I'm gonna put in small colon and put in the word true. What that's going to do is make the block smaller, which is going to give a nice, better effect for the owl that we're creating. And that's going to help you guys out if you want, like, I don't know, to make a lion, you want that fluffiness around him, and you don't want huge blocks, just make smaller blocks so you can position it quite color, position it more in depth. That's going to help you. Now, I said I was going to show you guys this right here. This is basically the rotation, and if I add, I don't know, like to an 80, or 90 it's gonna rotate 90 degrees up or down depending on the YZ XYZ axis and right here so this is just rotating which we're not gonna do for this animal since it's on the ground and we all need to rotate the head which is gonna be quite soon which I'm gonna show you guys so we can control this again let's see if it works with a smaller size drag it in click OK and we're gonna reload it okay I'm gonna make him walk around so okay yeah we don't see the wool block, it's not high, it's not low. If you go into game mode 3 and go just inside of him, you can see there's a wool block right inside of his head. It's smaller and it's not that, it's not there where we want it. So I'm going to go back to game mode 1 and I'm going to position it correctly. So 0 0.4 didn't work. How about if we do a bit lower, the height, let's put a negative, control S again, and let's see if this works. I'm going to drag it in, click save, and just reload plugin and open it up again remove my impet and then open him and he's falling to his death impet call we'll call him okay so if I go into game mode 3 again we can see his the block is actually in the correct position it is there that's good that's really good to hear so I'm gonna go into game mode 1 again we just have to position it a bit to the left so we can get that nice depth effect. So instead of 0.4, I can, I don't know, put a 0.5, control S it, drag this file in, click OK, and then we're just going to reload. 
and open it up remove it and then open up again and just open it like so what do we have nothing because it's not enough we need to add more okay okay we almost have it almost it's almost there it's a ton of it is out so I'm just gonna go back to the config it's 0 0.5 yeah let's make this 0 0.1 and F and then S that and we're just gonna drag this in oh okay reload it again open remove and open again like so and we are oh my god that that is just trolling right there that is so close all right maybe a three would be better because I still want a bit of depth I don't want it to be something small I want a bit of depth and maybe a two because it is kind of really close and save that drag it again click OK and just reload it open remove and then open again and just click the owl <laughs> too bit too much <laughs> yeah I think a two would just be better and there we go we have a bit of depth on the wing it looks so good it lo look at that it almost looks like he has a body almost not yet but we're still gonna add another wing right to this oh. so we're still gonna add a wing to this side here so it looks more like an owl like it's all curled up and cute like and let's do this so I'm gonna do I'm gonna go to the right wing I'm gonna click edit with notepad plus plus as well and I'm just gonna copy the contents of this one because I want it to be like a small and I'm gonna control V it here and let's go for a minus 0 0.2 and a negative 5 let's go for a 5 if that doesn't work we can still change it as always remember all right let's let's grab this go here and just drag it in click OK and we're gonna reload it and open it up again click owl and no too much so I think a standard two would just work fine as the other one so minus and so basically the negative means right and uh, just a normal one means left quite simple to understand really if you get the hang of it so I'm gonna reload it open I did I have the plugin folder did I I no, I did not let me do that this drag and drop click OK and reload click open remove click open again and just add your impact and oh my god that side actually looks a bit are they yeah they're equal it's just when you look at one another it looks a bit fatter but yeah it, it looks almost it looks basically like an owl and I'll just following us around we could add yellow feet but you guys get the basics of that and what we're gonna do now is we're gonna add its rotating head when it follows us so we're done with the structures we're gonna go to the animation part now animation works I'm gonna show you guys in a bit let's just remove everything okay structure done we're just gonna drag this right here now it's the animation this is it gets the funnest part for me in total I want around eight frames frames is a frame per second but I believe in this one if you're missing a frame it will auto place it in for you so don't worry about that but what I want it's rotating head so I'm just gonna go for three and just give me you know what one two three four you know five is enough for this tutorial so you want to rename them to each to what they want you want to rename them so since it started with F1 you want the next one to be F2 and then you want it again for the next one which is gonna be F3 F4 F5 okay now this is every frame you're gonna need this is this frame right here is gonna have nothing I don't want it to be doing nothing and the same thing for the last one these three frames are gonna be the most important one but still we're still gonna need to edit all of them so I'm just gonna open them all up with notepad plus plus alright cool we have all of them open up in notepad plus plus they don't have nothing really yeah okay we're gonna add them don't worry so we want to select the part that we want to rotate or move out of the position so we're gonna use the head because that's the only part we want to do we're not gonna make him fly or anything special like that we just want the head to rotate so I can guys so I can show you guys the rotation and the XYZ axis with this plugin alright good let's add the colon head this is the body part alright and then we're gonna add a space relative location and then colon alright we're gonna click enter again and we're just gonna add head pause colon and then in parentheses with double like that and then 
bracket bracket and then inside of it we're just gonna go zero comma zero comma zero there we go like that perfect and right here we're gonna go do the same thing just copy this right here and then copy it on the top all right looks good enough space and space okay things you need to know this is the relative location you want it to be in the same position so let's open up the structure right now uh, this, I'm, gonna I'm gonna show you guys what I mean in a bit so we're gonna open this up and right here its height is at minus zero oh five that's the same position we want it so let's say here was a zero point one we want we want it to be in the same position here so the first one was a zero with the height was a minus 0 0.5 so we want the first one on the relative location right here to also be a minus 0 0.5 or else if we put it zero every time it walks or does something it's gonna be going up and down up and down it's gonna be really awkward to look at and quite buggy in my opinion now the rest we can keep it at zero because right here we also kept them at zero if they were, if those heroes were like 1.1 1. 1. 1, we had to change here into 1.1 1. 1, and the third one well the same thing but since we, there is nothing it's just zero zero we got that done. I'm gonna control S this real quick. I'm gonna, I'm gonna copy all of them to every frame like so. Good, we have all that. Now, I want it to head to rotate. So right here is a, where the rotation is. Like I said, this is where you rotate the body parts, which in this case is the head. Now, I'm gonna rotate it right here, which is gonna be the more of a mid axis. And I'm just gonna go for a simple, well, we're in frame one. I don't want it to rotate, that's right. So I'm gonna control S and we're done with this frame. The next frame I want to rotate nine. There we go. The next frame I want to rotate 180. And the next one I want to rotate 270. And for the last frame, I just want to go back to to its axis, where it was zero or 360. Really doesn't matter because you're just gonna end up in the same position again. So we got that done. That was really it. We just rotated. Now the reason I'm rotating its head, because an owl usually rotates it to look around. I know it doesn't rotate a complete 360, or else it neck would snap. But it's this is a game. Let's just leave it for that. Okay. So we got all that. I'm gonna go ahead and copy all this into the into the animation frame folder. Click OK. And then we're just gonna reload slash impact reload slash impact open remove it and then open it up again all right so ready we're gonna walk and there it is <laughs> oh it's brilliant i actually quite love that feature indeed oh my god it's amazing so as you can see right there he wrote he did the complete 360 oh and basically that is our owl of course if you guys ever make an impact you can go to the forums and upload it there so other people can also download your impets of course i'll leave that in the description down below if you guys want to check it out really quite simple like that guys and right here we have our own owl it's levitating quite a bit i actually like that feature it's not really touching the ground as we made it and it's really it really looks cool just check that out that's our own impet right there that we just created together and it's really quite awesome and there we have it i'm inside of minecraft right now yeah it looks amazing check him out he looks well, he looks like my best pal. I'm going to keep him forever. And yeah, I'm going to put him to download if you guys want to check him out as well. Or you guys can create one as well, which is really cool. Yeah, this was a great, this is a great plugin. I recommend you guys download it. I do recommend you guys download this plugin because it is amazing. You can create as much as you want. You can even download it via an external website. So yeah, make sure to check out the other videos if you guys want a better explanation of the plugin itself and the commands not how to create one this is of course the tutorial of creating an impact so if you guys have understand anything and if you guys really like the video make sure to smack that like button down below if you guys want to see another one make sure to via comments if you guys haven't yet make sure to subscribe and yeah hope you guys really like this video of course it took me forever smack that like button please because it, it you don't know how much effort goes into making one of these bad boys and yeah i'm done rush xy and he's owl and we'll see you guys next time we're out